Uh, not really. Uh, I feel like I'm um, just getting to the point to where I'm realizing that I'm the one who has to make the plays all of the time and that we're better off with the ball in my hands. And uh, the rest of the guards are really there that just help me. But it's my job to, to get it going and to be able to control the ball and have the ball in good hands. Is that kind of a fine line? Because I know you're trying to, especially when you're running the break, you're trying to get it out to somebody. But it seems like that there's kind of that, that balance between doing that and you know, bringing it up yourself and getting the team in the offense. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's just reading the game and knowing the tempo and the mode of the game. Uh, if we're running, I know Travis and, and Ben will be on the wings and I can advance the ball up without really having to hold the ball. That's when they draw fouls or, or score in transition. But it, uh, it's times where I got to hold the ball longer and bring it out, set up a play, and get us something good going. We have nothing going. And uh, I don't think I've been doing a great job at that. It's something that I'm working on. Uh, it's a point guard role, and I'm getting used to playing that role again. So I'm just studying everything and trying to take it into perspective. Which also this team, he thinks, has practiced harder than they've than they played in games. Why is that? I definitely can agree with that. I don't know if it's because uh, so many young people playing or, or or what the situation is, but sometimes we look like a total different team in practice than we do in the games. Is it hard to take the foot off the gas sometimes in terms of being a point guard and maybe not playing so aggressively? Uh, yeah, but I feel like I got to be the one out there that, that knows it, if anyone. So uh, it has to be. Uh, looked at, and if it's going to be looked at, I feel like it has to be from my point of view. So I don't feel like it's too much of a, a job to ask for a point guard. Has there been a moment um, you know, early in the season when you kind of realized the, the role was going to be different, that you were going to need to be more aggressive or you kind of need to change things up how you've been played in the past? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just noticing stuff like uh, in break, when uh, knowing the times when I get tired um, playing on the wing, it was just different uh, being a point guard because I get tired at different times of the game. You know, it's usually when everybody else is rested and I'm, you know, having to control the game or hold the ball for so long or make a play or think for the team or set everybody up, get everybody organized. And I think sometimes that wear on you and you don't realize when you play on the wing. But as a point guard, you have to make sure that all five people are in order as, as opposed to being a, another position where you can just think about, you know, what should I be doing to just get out the way and sort of, you know, just feed after what the point guard starts. It's not. It's not too much of a of a thinking process. I think. I think I just have to react to everything. Uh, thinking gets you, you know, uh, nervous or you know, cause turnovers or, or anything. Just get you out of your rhythm. So I try not to think too much. I just try to react to everything. And my reactions, I feel like right now, aren't great. But I think they're getting better. And I'm, I'm feeling more like I should keep the ball sometime in certain situations. And I'm starting to read into it. Uh, no, no, no. I don't. I don't expect people to not say nothing. Uh, people care. People want to know. People want to know what's going on with the Jayhawks, so they had a right to ask. And I think that for me to be the person trying to fill the job in, uh, it's to me to answer the questions. And it, it's no pressure to me. It's a job, and I have to do what I have to do for the team. So. I have no problem with it. Uh, I mean, it's exciting to have this game because, like, you, they play in the Big 12. So, I mean, our fans would be looking forward to it and getting after them just as much as, as we are. So, It's going to be a great game. I think this is my first time playing them. But, um, I think a lot of – think it's just going to be a great game. It's just, we just got to go out there uh, with the mindset, just go out there and play hard and just bring energy and just play as a team. Do you think that's been for everybody? Um, I think it's a. I think it's, it helps a lot. Um, we just out there getting better each and the, uh, every day, and I think we just out there just uh, getting better as a team. So, what specifically do you think that's been the most benefiting? Having more practice time as opposed to intervening games. I think getting our chemistry right, and just working on on those little things that we need to work on and stuff like, as far as on defensive end and just working hard and stuff. So that's all we've just been doing uh, on these last couple of days, just been working on the things we needed to work on. Coach said you had practiced harder at times than you played in games. Why is that? I think it's just because we, we want to be out there. We know what we can do um, uh, out there on the, on the floor and stuff. So um, in practice, we just bring a lot of energy with each other, and, and then we just got to build that and just take that energy and uh, bring it into the game. What has been the biggest difference for him, maybe from last year to this year, knowing that you know the 
kind of changed where he doesn't have the help that Tyshawn and some of those guys where he's just the main guy? I think he's just um, transitioning to being a point guard and just now he's got to um, take care of the team. And he just he the team revol revolves around him, and so I think that's just a little thing he's just um, working on right now. So I mean, it's good. I think just with um, the, t uh, the team we have is just I think we could just help him. So it's the key to getting out in the wing in the break, especially you and Travis seem to have a real knack for getting out there and being available for for transition. Um, I think the key thing is just us just. Uh, running, just um, getting up, up and down the floor and stuff. That's what guards need to do and just just try to create and just open the floor more and just stuff and just try to get all our teammates just involved as we run um, on the floor. Be available yeah. Yeah, when, you're, when you're out of the floor. Uh, playing, playing with Jeff, um, I think it can be a good thing when there's a shot blocker behind you. Yeah. Is it also a, a, a difficult thing because you know he's behind you? I mean, you guys kind of got to buckle down on defense and not – Maybe I rely think, on him to block every shot behind you. Yeah, I think that's what um, sometimes we probably uh, some of the guards just think about. Okay, we can probably just you know ease up on defense because we know we got a, a seven footer that's gonna block the shot if um, we get beat by man. But I think we just um, just lock down on, on defensive end. I think we won't need, really need to worry about um, Jeff really trying to block a shot, uh, try to help us out. But we still at the same time, you know, he's definitely a seven footer. He's block. He, um, he's a defensive player for us. So. I think just we just need to just um, sit down and just lock down defense too.